Uh, okay, so tell us about the, the keyboard itself. Now, you, you said you, you did a lot of work in that area. Yeah, so let me actually try pulling up. I'll tell you about it, but I might... Oops, I'm launching something again. Well, I'll describe it first, and then we'll see if I need to pull it up. Um, uh, basically, you know, I create a spelling test. Um, um, I saw that there was a simple audio recorder so I could record words through Corona. Um, and I saw that I could access the old database so I could, you know, port over the old data to the new app. And so I said, okay, I'll, be, I'll build a spelling test in Corona. It should be no problem. And I had built every, a lot of different things first. And then I got to the point where I needed people to be able to add words or take a test. And the spelling suggestions kept popping up or the um, um, auto capitalization would happen, or you know, I would type a word and would auto correct the word. And in a spelling app, the last thing you want is somebody to be taking a test and it fix the spelling for you. And it was driving me crazy. Um, and so then I looked online and there was no way to disable this because the, the keyboard input is a native text input thing and, and Corona doesn't yet give control to be able to disable auto capitalization, auto correction and spelling. So basically the, the native text input became useless for me. And I almost scrapped, scrapped the product there. And, you know, and I'm not saying that Corona is bad by saying this. I'm saying that you know, there, how many developers need to be able to disable auto capitalization? It's just not something that most people would care about. But in my case, it's essential, right? So, um, um, so um, then I had the idea that what if I just write my own keyboard? So, you know, I basically built my own keyboard and laid it out and, you know, it took a long time to be able to handle shifting between a number and symbol keyboard versus capital letters versus lowercase. I'm not saying it's a big project, but if you're not a, quote, real programmer, then it's, you know, a pain in the ass to maintain it. No, sorry. A pain in the butt to maintain a keyboard. Um, <laughs> anyway. Um, but I did it, and I was feeling really great about myself. You know, I made it, it worked, and I sent it, sent it to some of my beta test users. And I had a small sample, but one of the users said, um, I need an app that um, works with Hebrew. And so I said, okay, let me look up Hebrew. How hard can it be? And, you know, it turned <laughs> out that it Same was... Last one. <laughs> you know, between having multi byte type characters, right to left orientation, everything. And then I said, you know, well... If I'm going to solve this problem, I want to solve it for all languages. So then I need to look. I looked at the Spanish keyboards, the Chinese keyboards, the Korean keyboards, and I realized this is a huge headache. I'm never going to be able to solve it. Um, so it was important enough for me to upgrade the users that the um, solution I came up with the last time around was I'll launch the app with the default keyboard, but I'll highlight a way to switch to a device keyboard. And the device keyboard popped up a big ugly error screen that says look, you're using the device's keyboard, you have to turn off auto capitalization, you have to turn off you know, spelling suggestions, you have to turn off all these things, or else the app isn't going to be useful. Um, but you know, if you want to use the app in other languages, this is the best way to go, or the only way to go. Um, and I got a lot of feedback from users. You know, some users just don't read the message, so they're using it in English, and they're saying, you know, why do you keep capitalizing my letters? Um, and um, um, so basically, you know, I got all this feedback that the, that the keyboard, you know, solution I came up with didn't work. And so um, what I did was um, two things. One is I've been looking into the Corona Enterprise because I'm sure that I could, you know, build in the appropriate hooks. I, I don't think I could, but I could hire somebody to build in the appropriate hooks for the native keyboard. Um, and I looked at it, and it wasn't something I was going to be able to do soon, and I wanted to solve this problem right away. Um, so then I came up with another solution, which, um, you know, more, you know, wearing a developer hat, I was kind of proud of. Um, um, basically, I found a way to disable auto capitalization and um, spelling suggestions and the auto correction. And the way I did it is um, I used the native text input, um, but instead of relying on what's typed in the native text input to be what to show on the screen, I move the native text input off screen or I make it invisible. Um, and I stuff the native text input with some characters in front of it. So I stuff it with the words show keyboard. And um, it's something where like anything you type after that, 
Apple is never going to make a um, autocorrection suggestion. They're never going to ask you to capitalize it because it's already part of another word. Um, and so, um, so you know, I thought I had the problem solved. You know, if um, if the let's say the 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 initial string is show keyboard, if it's show keyboard D is what I see, you know, um, typed in, then I'm going to print the letter T, D on the screen. And if the input is let, show keyboard show keyboard without the D, then I know the user tried to delete it. And so, like, I'm going to do a delete, um, you know, command on on the the word. And uh, everything worked fine until I started testing multi-byte characters. Um, and then, you know, and I've never, I have no experience dealing with Chinese characters and multi-byte characters, but um, um, you needed to, to, you need to figure out um, whether the character was multi-byte or not, the last character, to know how many, to, to know how much to delete. And um, I basically said, well, you know, this is simple. Like, if a user's typing in a word, I'm going to store in a table or somewhere every single letter that they typed in, so that I'll know what to delete. Um, but the problem is, if you're editing an existing word, I don't have any data on, you know, was this multi-byte or not? You know, do I have to delete, you know, um, one character or or one, you know, um, byte or multiple bytes or whatever it is. Um, and um, you know, but you know, I searched on different forums and and I found some code that basically can detect whether the last character, is, the length of the last character, and I'm using that now.